Good afternoon sa inyo. Batiin yung anong good afternoon yung katabi niyo. Itong, itong pre-encounter party ay isang invitation ng ating Panginoon sa bawat isa. Meron kasi nakalagay sa Bible na invite niyo sila lahat. Sabi niya. Tapos merong isang verse. Pwede bang pakalagay niyo yung verse na yon? Yung... Yung don't miss the party. Naalala ko tong verse na ito. Nung sinabi ng Panginoon, inutusan niya kay mga servant kasi naghanda siya ng feast ng parang piyesta kainan. Nung ini-invite niya yung mga tao, may mga iba't ibang reason. Sabi, busy ako, hindi makapunta eh. Pero hindi nila alam, sino niya wala ang pinakamagandang party, yung party ng Diyos. Di ba? This God's party. Ang akala ng iba, parang when we think about God's party, We always think about yung siguro baka may sayawan, may kantahan. Pero ang God's party, ito po ay medyo kakaiba sa ini-expect nating party. Of course, masaya din, may kainan din. Pero itong party na to medyo iba po ito kasi ito ay isang opportunity. Sabay-sabay natin sabihin, opportunity. opportunity. Pag sinabing opportunity, merong chances ang bawat isang tao. Ang lugar na to Philippine Bible Society Building, fifth floor. Okay? Because one day, One day, I'll tell you, one day, God will ask one word sa'yo. Ano ginawa mo nung in-invite kita sa party? What do you do when I invite you for my party? Alam niyo po ba ang opportunity ng God's party ay ibinibigay? Yung word na party, gusto kong... Yung word na yan, ang equivalent ng word na party is encounter. Say that word, encounter. So this is party with God means encounter with. So don't miss the party. So don't miss the. Yon, okay. Don't miss the encounter. So when we talk about when when we begin to think about enka a party, we begin to think about what encounter now. Pag sinabi mong let's go to party, ibig sabi nyan let's go and let's encounter God. Okay. Now how many among you you have heard about? A part, an encounter with God is the greatest party of your life. In fact, meron ako babasa yung isang passage sa Bible sa book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13. Ang sabi po dito, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your what? With all your heart. In fact, ito po yung sinasabi kong this is your opportunity. Say that word, opportunity. The opportunity will be given only to those people who seek me and they will what? They will find me. Sabi ng Bible, when you seek me with all your, ano? With all your heart. Now, itong encounter party natin, una po, pinapaalala namin sa inyo, ito po yung opportunity ng bawat isa. Now, balikan natin, balikan nyo yung look, yung nag-invite. Balikan natin, ha? Tinan nyo po ito. Yung opportunity. Jesus replied, a certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. Ito yung sinasabi. Okay? And then next, ang sabi sa verse 17, At the time of the banquet, he sent his servant to tell those who had been invited, Come, for everything now is ready. Sabi po ng pipe. Sabi po dyan. So, in-invite niya for banquet. Party yun, ha? But they all alike began to make what? Pambira, naghanda na. Yung invitation pala na to, The first said, I have just bought a field and must go and see it. Please, ex, ano? excuse me. Do you believe when God is inviting somebody for a party, people began to give their what? Excuse. Why? Because sabi nila, eh, ano ko eh, may binili akong lupa. I must go and see it. So, they think that work would be the excuse. By the way, nung araw, pag nagkakaroon pala ng party nung araw, ganito. Halimbawa, magpapaparty ako. Ang kaugalian pala nung araw, three months to five months before the party begins, meron na parang preliminary invitation. Sa preliminary invitation, sasabihin ng mga tao, datating ba kayo? Oo. Take note kita, sama ka, okay. Ikaw, sama ka? Oo, sama ka, okay, good. Ikaw, sama ka? Oo, sama ka, okay, good. Lahat na nga kong sasama. So ngayon, yung may-ari nung banquet, sabi niya, ilan lahat ang nga kong sasama? Ay, according po dito, ano, 300 po. Ano ba? 300. So, sige. Maganda kayo ng pagkain sa 300 person. Tapos, nung araw na inihandaan yung 300 food, 
nung dadating na sila, may second invitation. Yung bang follow-up invitation nung party. Alam mo nung pangalawang party? They began to make what? Excuses. Pero nangako sila. Parang ang tao ganyan, ano? Mahal mo si Lord? Oo. Punta kay Lord? Oo. Pero pag talagang puntahan, ha? Ano ibibigay? Excuses. Totoo ba yon? Mahal mo si Lord? Oo. Punta kay Lord? Oo. Tara. Ay. Busy ako eh. Maraming gagawin eh. Di ba? So, itong nangyayaring ito, totoo ang nangyayaring ito. Tama? So, the first said, I have just bought a field and I must go and see. Please, ano? Excuse me. Next verse. Sabi ng verse 19, Another said, I have just bought five yoke of oxen and I'm on my way to try them out. Please, ano? Ito, marami. Kasi kabibili ko pa lang nung aking oxen, eh, eh ano ko pa eh, ipapatakbuhin ko pa, tinan ko kung okay, excuse me. And then another, verse 20, I just got married. Kakakasal ko lang eh. So I can't, ano? I can come. And then verse 21, the servant came back and reported this to this master. Then the owners of the house became what? Became what? Now, do you don't imagine the one who invited these people that says, yes, I will come. And then they began to give excuse. They become angry and order the servant, go out quickly into the streets and alley of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, and the blind, and the lame. And they Verse 22. Sir, the servant said, what you ordered has been done, but there is still a no. Lord, nasabi na namin, pero umday pa rin handa, kulang pa rin, yung guest. And then, remember, God is inviting for a party, right? And when the people give give commitment to come when the moment of the party is there, they are not there. So sabi ng Bible, there are still room. Verse 23, Then the master told the servant, go out to the roads and country lanes and make them come in so that my house will be what? You see, the, 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 ito po, ang nagtetel ng story to si Christ. Gumagamit si Lord ng isang illustration ng isang party to tell the situation of the people that when it terms of God inviting somebody, nagkakaroon ng problema. God's party is encounter. Ano ang God's party? It's an encounter. Now, how would you like to have an encounter with God? Taas yung kamay. Gusto nyo ba maka-encounter kay Lord? Don't you know that everybody has been invited to encounter God? Ini-invite tayo lahat. But unfortunately, not everybody is willing to say yes for that party. Gusto ko paliwanag sa inyo. Number one, meron kayong encounter opportunity. Meron kayong opportunity to attend this party. Kung ready kayong mag-seek at mag-find at nice niyo talagang ma-encounter ang Panginoon. You have the opportunity. Sabi mo sa mga, you have the opportunity. Now, the second thing that I realize here is that Hindi lang kayo may encounter opportunity, pero alam nyo ba, pag dumalo kayo sa party ni Lord, meron pa kayong reconciliation opportunity. Ang sabi ng Luke 15 verse 18 to 19, I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. Nung binabasa ko po itong passage na ito, Kapag kayo nagpunta ng encounter, hindi nyo lang nakikita yung party at ma-encounter nyo ang Panginoon. Pero alam nyo, you also have the great opportunity to have reconciliation with God. Alam nyo, sa totoo lang, you have to hear this. Hindi lahat ng tao nakareconcile kay Lord. In fact, the Bible, is telling, the Bible is telling us that most of the people right now is enmity with God. Meron tayong pagkaaway at pagkahiwalay sa Diyos. But you know, the day you attend God's party, He invited you. He wants you to become. He, he wants you to attend this feast, this encounter, so that you could also experience reconciliation. Now, how would you like to hear that you are an enemy of God? You don't like to hear that, right? Pero alam nyo, lahat po ng tao sabi ng Bible, lahat ng tao nagkasala at hindi nakaabot sa kaluwalhati ng Dios. When we said tayo nagkasala, whether we like it or not, we are part of the enemy of God. But you know, when we come to his party, 
that is our opportunity to have reconciliation with God. Alam niyo ginawa ng prodigal sa na ito? Sabi niya, oh, babalik ako sa tatay ko at sasabihin ko sa kanya, ako yung nagkasala sa iyo. At I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. Itong batang, sino nga kakalam ng prodigal son? Naalala yung storya? Umalis sa tatay niya, di ba? Tapos binulastog niya yung pera niya, lahat na ubos. Bandang uli, nahirapan siya. Nahirapan siya, sabi niya, I need to go back to my father. Ang tawag po doon, reconciliation. You know why God wants you to attend God's party? Because di niya lang nice yung ma-encounter si Lord, but first, gusto niya kayong maka-reconciliation sa Kanya. God wants you to have peace with Him. Katulad ng batang ito, ba't ka nahihirapan dyan? Nagugutom ka, naglilingkod ka sa babuyang, kumakain ka ng pagkain ng baboy, natutulog ka sa kulungan ng baboy. Samantalang sa father mo, kung makikipag-reconcile ka lang, pwede namang maayos ang buhay eh. How many people today are willing to destroy their life without having the opportunity, knowing the opportunity, that you don't need to waste your life? How many young people today are they, they're just wasting their life? No, don't waste your life because you have the opportunity to encounter God and you also have the opportunity to reconcile with God. Third thing, tignan niyo po ito, hindi lang reconciliation, but bibigyan pa kayo ni Lord ng restoration opportunity. Mababasan po natin ito sa Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God demonstrated His own love for us in this. While we were still what? Sinners, Christ what? Died for us. You see, you don't need to suffer, you know, from being an enemy of God. No. Jesus Christ died for you. You don't, hindi lang kayo may opportunity to, to have encounter with God or reconciliation with God. But right now, pwede pa tayong ma-restore back. Why? Because our sins will be forgiven through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why this party is so awesome, right? Hindi lang, nakatinig ba kayo ng party? Una may bayad, tapos pagod, pag uwi mo, hang over. Di ba? Tama? Kinapukasan, nangihina ka. Tawag natin doon ano, party. <laughs> you know what? When you have party with God, your life will be strengthened. Your life will be restored. Tapos, wala kang babayaran. You know why? Because Jesus paid the penalty of your sin. Naka-attend na ba kayo ng party? Di ba? Misa sa mga party, naihipuan ka, naiisahan ka. Pagkalabas mo, nakakonsensya ka. Ay, sana ko nung loko na yun, ha? Bito, you know, pag kayo na silo, nag-party kayo kay Lord, walang mangihipo sa inyo. Walang maniningil sa inyo ng party spee. Di ba? Wala kayong hangover. Pero you know what? The only God want to give to you is restoration and reconciliation. That's why I like this party. How many of you like God's party? Ha? Pag-uwi nyo, wala kayong sakit ng ulo. Tama? Pag-uwi ninyo, grabe, natawad ako sa kasalanan. Pag-uwi ninyo, malaya na ako sa kasalanan. Why? Because the Lord restore us. Anong sabi ng number four dito? Hindi lamang po restoration, Pero ngayon, meron tayong opportunity sa number four ng provision. What is provision opportunity? Sabi dito, yet to all who receive Him, to those who believe in His name, He gave the right to become what? Children of God. Man, can you imagine this? Before you go to the party, before you, go to, before you attend God's party, you are an enemy of God. But when you come out of the party, you become what? Child of God. Well, I like that party, right? Tama. Pumunta ka sa party natin sa labas. Pabago ka pumasok, you are the friend of God. Paglabas mo, ano ka na? Enemy of God. <laughs> Kasi sa party, hindi dami mo lulo, matututunong kalukuhan. Why? Because that's, God's, that's not God's party. But you know what? When you attend God's party, God will be providing every problem that you have, every situation that you don't like, God will provide way out for you. Amen. That's why ako po tuwan-tuwa ako di sa pre-encounter party natin because you will be given an opportunity. Sino sinyo gusto maging child of God? Taas yung kamay. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, welcome to God's party. Amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord for that. Welcome to God's party. Alam nyo, nung binabasa ko po ito, nung binabasa ko po itong mga thoughts na ito sa ating party na ito, starting today, no? Para sa akin po, we have to make a decision today, No? Una, in-encourage ko po kayo magkaroon kayo ng decision. Ano ko lagay po dyan? 
I want you to make a decision to have an encounter with Jesus Christ. Papano, by accepting Him and experiencing God's most beautiful gift for your life. And that is forgiveness. Amen? Second, we have to repent of all our sin and begin to reconcile with God. Amen? And then you can receive God's gift of ano, redemption and receive God's full provision for your life. You are now a child of God. Sino sa inyo willing gumawa ng ganong klaseng decision sa sarili niya? Taas yung kamay. Pastor Riel, I like that decision. Okay? Ano yung unang decision? Basahin natin. Number one, go. Have Okay, sino sa inyo gusto niyong ma-experience na i-accept si Lord sa inyong buhay? Taas yung kamay. You like that? That's good. Number two, basahin natin. Number two. One, two, three, go. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Are you ready this afternoon na sabihin sa Pang Lord, ang dami kong palpak, Lord, dami kong kasalanan. Patawarin mo ako. At simula sa araw na ito, Lord, yung lahat ng kasalanan yung pinihing ko ng tawad, gusto kong makipag-ayos sa'yo. I want to have reconciliation with you. Sino sa inyo gagawa ng ganon? Good. Number three. One, two, three, go. Receive God's gift of redemption. Alam niyo, Shabin, you must be willing to receive forgiveness. God wants to forgive you. Isn't it? This is a good party. Di ba? And then fourth and final, sabi niya, receive God's, ano? Full provisions for my life. I believe this afternoon, God wants to take you. Amen? For this party, this encounter. And I know God will bless your life. Amen? Remember this. Huwag yung kakalimutan ito. Magkaroon kayo ng hunger. Lord, gusto kitang ma-experience, Lord. Gusto kitang ma-encounter pa. Lord, kung sa encounter na ito, Lord, kasalanan lang ang sa buhay ko ang maging problema, then Lord, I'm willing to surrender all my sins. Are you, re are you ready to do that? And Lord, yung kasalanan ito, Panginoon, alam ko through the blood of Jesus Christ, you will redeem me. And today, I believe Jesus will save me from the power of sin. And I know starting today, as you give your life to Jesus, I believe on this. Jesus will give you a new life and He will count you as a child of God starting today. Amen po ba? How many of you want to pray silently right now like this prayer? Amen. I, I want you to bow your head right now. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, sa hapon pong ito, we thank you because we desire to experience Christ. We want to experience encounter with Christ. Heavenly Father, right now, your blood is available for us to wash away every sin in us, Lord. Lord, indeed, this afternoon, forgiveness through your blood is available for us. Lord, patawarin mo kami sa lahat ng may pagkakasala, Lord. Like the prodigal son, we are coming back to you, Lord, because we realize that without you, Lord God, life is messed up, Lord. Ama, sa hapon pong ito, pour out your forgiveness upon us, Lord. And starting today, Lord, I believe Ikaw po ang gagalaw at kikilo sa aming mga buhay. Lord, sa hapunting ito, tinatanggap ka namin bilang Panginoon at sarili ang paglitas ng aming buhay. Simula sa araw na ito, Panginoon, indeed, as we encounter you, Lord, our life will never be the same again. Our life will be changed and our life, Lord, will be counted as one of your child willing to obey my Father. Lord, today, marami pong salamat sa pag-ibig mo sa amin as we worship and honor you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Praise God.